You got these people baffled because the black magic is not working on you. And they don't have an explanation for it other than you're working with the devil. They know you're not working in a group, but they feel like you're doing black magic on them. And that's how you're resisting their black magic. You see, these are people that like to display to others that they're religious and that they believe in God, but they don't believe in God. They don't because the thought of God protecting you from these people never crossed their mind. What crossed their mind was you must be working with the devil. See, they believe in the devil, but don't believe in God. Make that make sense. Even an atheist will tell you if the devil exists, then God got to exist. If negative exists, then the positive has to exist. And so they don't know what else to do. They ran out of, you know, they ran out of things to do. They've been hiring people, they've been going broke doing this. Their entire lives have gone to absolute shit. If you were to see them, and I know you you feel the energy, the energy changed because it's like they're giving up. They're not doing, you know, they're not thinking about you in the way they used to, in the frequency that they used to, meaning the amount of, you know, the amount of hours per day. They're not as locked in as they used to be because they see it's, it's, there's no point. They see that this whole time you've been making moves and you've been elevating and you've been attracting success, you've been attracting love, you've been attracting attention, and for them, everything has gone to shit. Like, they have appliance breakdowns, they have car trouble, they have all types of, pro they have financial issues, like... All they do is put out fires. And I don't mean that in a literal sense. I mean they're constantly troubleshooting problems with practically everything in their life. Nothing seems to go their way. If they knew how smooth sailing your life is, I think they would roll over and just pass out. If they could feel the peace you feel, I mean, they, they would be fuming because they don't have anything near that. And it's almost as if you can't beat them, join them. That's what it's looking like. It's looking like they're about to make a 180, come back and, and pretend that, you know, you don't know about their witchcraft. They never thought you would find out about this, by the way. They thought you were going to be shut out for the rest of your life. They thought they were going to control you like, like a puppet. And you would never find out it was them. They were trying to put diseases that your doctor wouldn't even know what caused it. That your doctor wouldn't even have a treatment for it. You think they cared? They were ruthless. They were ruthless. If it was legal, they would have taken you out with their bare hands if they could. They're ruthless. They don't have a soul. They did all of this to try to steal your destiny. This is what it's all about. You know, You don't need to own the thing that you want to be in the presence of. You don't need to own it. The fact that you get to be in the presence of that person should be enough. If you're in the presence of royalty, consider yourself lucky. Lucky to be in that person's presence and in that person's life. But no, they wanted the crown and they wanted your life.
Anyways, guys, until tomorrow, take care and have a good one.